Well, good morning, church. We are back with our second uh, devotional in the month of February, and we're reading through the Jesus Storybook Bible where every story from the scriptures is connected to Christ, who is our hope. Um, today, we're gonna look at the story of Abraham and God's promise to him. This is uh, from Genesis 12 to 21, a summary of that. And uh, God's promise that he makes to Abraham and Sarah. Um, and so Silas and I are gonna read this. It's called Son of Laughter. Abraham's out there with the stars. Years passed and things didn't get any better. People were still just as cruel and mean to one another. They still got sick and died and God's world was still full of tears. It was never meant to be like this, but God was getting ready to do something about it. He was going to make all the wrong things right and he was going to do it through a family. Abraham, God said, how many stars are there? Let me see, Abraham said, rolling up his sleeves. 993, 994, 997. Uh-oh, no, wait. One, two, of course. He kept losing count. Too many, he said. Guess what, God laughed. I will give you so many children and grandchildren and great-grandchildren. You won't be able to count them either. Abraham could help giggling at such a wonderful idea, but he stopped himself. How could he have a family? Don't be silly. He didn't have any child child children children let alone grandchildren he wiped away a tear anyway he was nope. nine it, it was far too late for him to start having babies at his age he was 99 years old what could what could God mean? Abraham, God said, believe me. And then God told Abraham his secret re rescue plan. Abraham, I will make your family very big. God promised until one day your family will come to number more than even all the stars in the sky. Abraham looked up at the dark night sky, thick, thick with stars. You will be my special family, my people, and through you, everyone on earth will be blessed. It was an incredible promise. God was going to rescue the world through Abraham's family. It's a, it's a picture of Abraham and Sarah. One of his great, great, great grandchildren would be the child, the promised one, the rescuer. But it's too wonderful, Abraham said. How can it be true? Is anything too good to be true, God asked? Is anything too wonderful for me? So Abraham trusted what God said more than what his eyes could see. And he believed. Now when Abraham's wife, Sarah, heard God's promise, she just laughed to herself. But it wasn't a happy laugh. It had tears in it. She'd always wanted a baby. Could her dream come true? Could she really have a baby when she was 90 years old? No, of course not. Don't be silly. It was far too late. Sarah didn't believe God could do what he promised. She had forgotten that when God says something, it's as good as done. All right, your turn again, bud. Sure enough, nine months later, just as God had promised, Sarah gave birth to a baby boy. They named him Isaac, what means son of laughter. Isaac. And Sarah laughed, but... This time it was a 
glorious laugh, happy laugh. Her dream had come true. God would do as he promised. He would always look after Abraham's family, his special people, and one day God would send another baby, a baby promised to a girl who didn't even have a husband. But this baby would bring laughter to the whole world. This baby would be enough, would be everyone's dream come true. I'm not you. So there they are. There's Abraham and Sarah and Isaac. So who is that? Who is that baby that the author is talking about at the very end? Jesus. And he. Was, he brings laughter. He brings laughter and joy was, to everyone. And he was named Isaac, but he was named Jesus in heaven. <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe. Um, so it's this story is pointing forward to uh, to Christ, who fulfilled so many of the promises that God gave to Abraham to be a blessing to the whole world, and to to use God's family of uh, of Abraham's children, and that's why we sing that song. Father Abraham had many sons and daughters, or Father Abraham had many kids, and I am one of them. Um, so that's the, the connection that, that is made there and the promise that looks forward to Christ. I hope this, uh, this devotional has blessed and challenged you this morning, and have a great week, and I'll see you on Sunday, either online or in person. God bless.